Your site grading workflows just got more exciting. Experience the latest improvements and performance enhancements to site modifiers in Vectorworks 2023 that will increase your control and productivity with site grading. Every site modifier now defines its own surface and can even be displayed in 3D. This is fantastic for visualizing design surfaces on their own to verify your design intent. We've also improved how the site model interprets site modifiers. You'll be able to place site modifiers in a more intuitive way. They could sit side by side, overlap, and even nest. The site model then collects all surfaces and stitches them together, creating true vertical sides at its edges. When overlapping, the modifier in front takes precedence. When nesting, you can set the parent's inner modifiers to have vertical sides or transition smoothly in between. You can also now create ring fences or protect inner areas from getting disturbed by placing grade limits within a grade limit. The site model has also been simplified, requiring far fewer points and related triangles. As a result, both improvements make resetting the site model faster than ever. We've added three new modes to the site modifier toolbar, aligned, pathway path mode, and boundary path mode. The aligned mode makes it simpler to create a surface between adjacent modifiers, regardless of whether they are planar or sloped. You can even fine tune the shape of the surface by defining surface modifiers with stake objects and grade objects. Making a path is easier than ever with the pathway path mode and boundary path mode. The first mode allows you to generate a path by drawing a center line and inputting its width while the boundary creates a path by drawing a boundary. Both objects function the same once placed in the drawing and their 2D center line and 2D boundary can be reshaped with ease. Precision is made possible with the ability to establish exact start and end elevations or inputting a specific slope to meet accessibility design standards. You can also automatically align the start and end elevations of a path to other surfaces, giving you immediate feedback on the path slope. You'll notice additional flexibility by being able to edit the center line's path vertically. You can add additional points, set their elevation, or even control the slope between each pair of points. You can even snap these points to outside geometry. You can also set cross slopes or create a crown by editing the path's transverse profile. Use one profile for a constant cross slope or add additional ones should the direction of drainage need to adjust along the path. These same great improvements can also be found within the Hardscape tool. They can be used to modify the site model or be used as standalone 3D objects like floating decks or bridges. Lastly, we know how important it is to have control over contours on a grading plan, so we added additional functionality to the grade limits object. You can draw a grade limit around contours you want to fine tune and simply edit them with ease. By providing you with new ways to account for proper drainage, vehicular and pedestrian use, as well as better control through contour drawing and editing, you will spend less time on grading plans and terrain modeling and have more time to design.